Hello and welcome to this edition of the PV Industry Notes. In today's edition, we have a very special report on the release of the first ever Pete the Talent mixtape. And from what I've been told, the streets are in pandemonium in this episode. We shall have special reports live from the scene from a couple of my fellow reporters on the scene of this epic and phenomenal, phenomenal experience experience going on right now. I am Laurent Robinson, aka Mr. Eisen, if you do not already know, and soon you will see my colleagues who will give you the live report. So from what I am understanding, the people are literally having to be transported to the hospital for the release of this mixtape. Although it is a digital product, people are nodding their heads to the point of them breaking their necks. Is this true, Brother Eskimo? I have heard reports that these are the types of things that are going on. Is this something that you can confirm being that you're on the scene? Thanks, Laron. Well, I'm just receiving reports that people are being admitted at an alarming rate into the hospital with broken necks from nodding their heads so much to this mixtape. We have not seen anything like this since Buster Rhymes brought out the aptly named song, Break Your Neck, although there are no instructions in this mixtape in which one should break their neck to these songs, they have been doing so, and this is dangerous. This mixtape is dangerous. It may be fire, but it's causing injury left, right, and center, nationwide and worldwide. What do you think about this? You know, Brother Eskimo, th this is absolutely amazing at the results that this mixtape is creating. I cannot believe that people are actually being transported to the hospital. You know, I must say that I, now that I think about it, it is not that big of a phenomenon because I remember the first time that I heard it. I too had to go to the hospital. I had a strain here on the right half of my neck that the doctor said came from too much vibrational pull. In other words, you know, when you get to nodding and bopping and booming and rocking, you know, there's something that happens. He said that it's a phenomenon that he's been facing ever since this mixtape dropped. I don't really know what's going on here. I don't know if it's the sound, the sonic... Uh, sound of the mixtape itself or is it something more there must be drugs within this music because there is an absolutely astonishing number of people who are being victims from this hot music so brother Eskimo what else can you tell me about this mixtape because apparently Upon all of these doctor visits, and I must put a disclaimer out that the Pete the Industry News team does not take any responsibility, nor does the Pete the Industry Movement take any responsibilities for paying for doctor bills and visits. That is not in our contract, nor do we anticipate adding it in the previous or the following years. So, I just want to ask, Brother Eskimo, is there something of special value that is on this mixtape? Who are the people that submitted to this mixtape? There must be something very, very exciting going on within it. Now, there are two main rumors about this mixtape. The first one is that Biggie and Tupac are, in fact, not dead. And they've actually submitted a track for this mixtape. Now, they will not be releasing music anywhere else at any time, but they have done a collab for this mixtape. The other rumor that I'm hearing is that Meek Mill actually came at Drake with some bars and sent his song to the Peep the Talent mixtape. Now, I cannot confirm these. All I can say is you need to go out there and download this mixtape or stream this mixtape and find out if these rumors are true for yourself. Really? Tupac and me submitted tracks for this mixtape. Wow! And a Meek Mill disc that was submitted against Drake. 
to be placed on the Peep the Talent mixtape. These rumors are phenomenal. And you know, what I found in my years of reporting Brother Eskimo is the fact that Whenever the rumors are large and extraordinary, the project usually holds true. Now, I cannot confirm, however, as my colleague Eskimo said, that this is a true rumor. I am yet to hear the final project, so I can't really say that that is true. But if it is, I must say, this will be the greatest mixtape of this generation by far no questions asked it will be phenomenal but you know what i have found out that even if these rumors are not true this mixtape is still one of the hottest things to hit the street this year guaranteed